hadn't lost their season opener since 1998, but Auburn came dangerously close to letting that take place on Saturday. In the third quarter, Barrett Trotter finds Travante Stallworth, who's breaking ankles out on the field. The Tigers go up by four, but the lead would evaporate in the fourth quarter. Chucky Keaton taking it in himself. It's a 31-28 Utah State lead after the extra point later on in the quarter. Less than four minutes to go in the game. The Aggies lining up for a field goal. But it's a fake, and Stanley Morrison finds DJ Tialava'a, who makes the incredible catch. This one would be reviewed. The play stands. That would set up first and goal for the Aggies at the two-yard line. And moments later, Robert Turbin punches it in. So Utah State would hold a 10-point lead with just about three and a half minutes to go, but Auburn puts together a furious rally. Third and goal, just over two minutes remaining. Trotter hooks up with Philip Lutz and Kirkin. It's a three-point game, and then on the ensuing kickoff, Auburn with the onside kick, and they would recover. Now keep in mind, they can't advance the ball, but it's still Tigers football. And then with less than a minute to go, they would get it all the way inside the 10 on second and goal. Michael Dyer, the sophomore from Little Rock, Arkansas, caps off the comeback in a 42-38 Auburn.